Championship fight between Edson Barboza and Frankie Edgar. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender, making his walk to the octagon for this UFC featherweight championship opportunity. It's been a long time coming. No denying he is worthy of this chance, and he believes he's the best featherweight in the world. His opportunity to prove it is now just a few short moments away. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats, and that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Barboza is 34, Edgar is 38. Barboza will have a seven inch reach advantage. Here once more is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. It's his first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 23 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, USA, presenting the challenger, Frankie the Essay. Champion fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 10 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Edson Jr. Barbosa. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Well, he told us on Thursday, you don't get paid to fight 15 minutes. To that end, early takedown is there. His ideal fight is a grind as ugly as he can make it. It's better for him. And with this early takedown, he ensures that he can start to wear the gas tank for a long time. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna start looking to land. The damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Barboza. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. That right hand landed. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Edgar's back in side control. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Edson Barboza. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, that was The referee has seen enough. Burst of by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. Get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. The official decision is inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 14 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Frankie the So there he is, the new UFC featherweight champion. Kind of looks like the after party has already started in the octagon. I know you'll be there shortly, Chip. I mean, it's going to be a great night. Look, I wasn't on his bandwagon on the way to the octagon, but I'm solely on it on the way out as he's going out there with that champion.